Hi guys, Phil Graham here from DiabeticMuscleAndFitness.com and I'm going to run you through five of the biggest reasons why your blood glucose levels are going low during exercise. So, first things first, too much circulating insulin. Too much circulating insulin will drive your blood glucose levels very, very low. If you have overdosed or overcompensated on your dose for a particular meal or time of the day, whether that's a correction or not, you will have excess hormone in your body that has the sole purpose of removing glucose from the bloodstream and into the cells. If you take too much of that, you will go hypoglycemic. It's very important to identify when you have overinjected or overtaken insulin that's driven you into a hypoglycemic state. Point number two is increased insulin absorption. So what that basically means is whenever somebody injects into a muscle group that's been trained, due to the increased blood flow in that particular area, the delivery of that insulin is a lot faster and the onset and action of the drug is quicker. If your blood glucose levels are too low or you don't have enough circulating carbohydrate in your system, then you will go hypoglycemic. Point number three is hypoglycemic awareness. If you take hypos all the time, the body can dampen its counter-regulatory responses, i.e. the increase in hormones like adrenaline and cortisol and all those sorts of things that make you feel shaky and sweaty. And as a result, your identification of hypoglycemic episodes can be dampened. And as a result, before you know it, it's too late and you're very, very low. So that's a big, big factor to consider. Hypoglycemic unawareness is an actual condition, but it can be reversed with three to four weeks of good solid blood glucose management. And it's all to do with how the central nervous system adapts to taking frequent hypo episodes. Point number four is being thrown into an exercise that you're unfamiliar with, a format of exercise. So say for example, you're used to walking the dog and you tried CrossFit for the first time. There's gonna be a massive difference in how your body responds to that activity and your blood glucose. So be very mindful of sudden changes in activity. Point number five is the duration and length and intensity of the training that you're doing. Again, that might be more than anticipated and as a result of that, may drive you into a hypoglycemic state. So it's very important to be aware of all these factors whenever it comes to managing your diabetes around exercise. These are essential. And always look to identify patterns. Look to identify patterns in the behavior of your blood glucose so that you can identify what's going wrong and you can learn to anticipate it and nip it on the bud the next time it were to occur. So I hope you find that useful. And if you did like this video, please subscribe for instant notifications of new ones. And I'd love you to like the video. And also, if you want to know more, head over to diabeticmuscleandfitness.com where there's a wealth of free information on muscle building, fat loss, and exercise with diabetes.